Oh, it's time for a haul. <laughs> In my last video, you watched me go shopping at a local antique and gift shop where I repeatedly said how amazing the place was because the prices were insane, the items were insane, the woman who worked there was extremely helpful, and then I even ran into a vendor and he gave me some amazing deals on some of his items. So today I'm going to show you everything I got. It's kind of a big haul, so I'm going to try and do it in one video if I can. Uh, we've got a lot of vintage goodies and home goods to show you guys, hard goods. So um, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the one item that I got at the spinoff store from this store, and it was worth the drive to the other store for this one item. So you guys are going to think it's amazing. It's deco, so there's a little hint. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's dig in. Let's see what we got. In the meantime, while I'm showing you these items, I'm going to try and pop up on the screen here some comps. The comps I look up are just what's selling on eBay right now that's either similar or the same as what I have. So you guys have an idea of what I'm looking at when I go to price my items. Uh, yeah, so let's dig in. These pretty crusty, dirty, but I'm going to clean them up a little bit. They are Corvette floor mats from a 1984 to a 1989 Chevy Corvette. So uh, a vintage Corvette floor mat for you guys. They're marked $10. That's one of the items that he gave me a deal on, so I'm not 100% sure what I spent on each of the items because he sort of bundled them all together and said, how about this for the bundle? So some of them I remember, some of them I don't. I know that was in a bundle. I probably paid somewhere between 5 and $8 for the two of those floor mats. This was another item that was in his booth that he put in a bundle for me. Whoa, if I don't knock myself out. Aren't these the coolest? These are a pair of Zenith headphones. And they still work, and they work really good. And I plug them into my own record player. And I listened to my records on these, and it sounded amazing. Which, you can't go wrong with original equipment when it comes to listening to your old records. So next we have this little Disney time clock. It's got Mr. Donald Duck and Mr. M-I-C-K-E-Y. Um, Walt Disney Productions D Japan. So it's made exclusively for Finney Walker in Japan. It does tick, but it doesn't, I don't think it works quite like it should. Either way, it's a really awesome display item or Disney collector item that I have never seen before. So I think it's pretty unique and cool. It's green on the back. You can see the, uh, the inner workings of it. The guy had told me that he likes to take the clocks apart and oil them and get them working if they're not, which is really, really cool. Who has time for that? Apparently that guy, his name is Matt. Matt has time for that. I, on the other hand, do not. <laughs> so usually when I buy things... That are broken they stay broken but are still really really neat items okay so here here's actually a list of all the things that I paid for not including his items because his are bundled together so let's see all right let's see you want to see my total here ba boom $172.46 is my total for all of these items that I'm going to show you today. Um, that gives you any kind of idea of what I paid. Next, um, you saw me pick this up in the video. I didn't quite show it off, though. It is a hang loose uh, Hawaii wooden, maybe teak, or probably some sort of Hawaiian. Wood. It's a little bit loose on the handle, but I paid $2 for this really awesome sort of tiki mug. I bought this belt for $1 because I love gold. I also love steer skulls. It's just a thing, right? Braided gold. Fabulous. Can't go wrong with that. Then this was one of the items that I got before I even walked in the door. They had a whole bunch of stuff outside and all that stuff was so awesome that I knew once I got inside it was going to be unbelievable. So this is a 1990, 1988, excuse me, 1988 bank um, and it is 
is a Sutton Place Creations for General Mills. So there's your cereal. Looks like maybe Cinnamon Toast Crunch mm, at the bottom there. One of my favorites. Uh, next, I got this vintage or antique. I'm not really sure how old it is. Um, it's a shop stamp. I don't know if you guys can really see all the details, but it says the shop order number, sheet number, contractor, etc., etc., date, whatever. Wooden stamp. Very cool. That was in the bundles um, from Mr. Matt. My dog thinks he has to bark, or if a leaf crosses the yard, so excuse me if there's a little bit of dog earthing in the background. Uh, this next item that I got is a pair of crystal glass long stem candle holders. Uh, you heard me negotiate, sort of, in the video for these. She's saying $4. I was like, mmm... Then she said $2, and I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not sound like a big difference, but to me it makes a world of difference because for $2 I can get a lot more than you would think. So anyway, these are super, super pretty. They're really heavy crystal glass candlesticks. She gave me this box for $2. Um, it's like a brass bow and then hard metal casing, and then it's velvet lined. How awesome is this? So that I had to take for $2, and it's really heavy. You can tell it's really old, and it is super pretty. Next, I've got this. I have a thing for hanging lamps, um, especially in this type of a style. So this one I paid $11.95 on special. That guy, totally worth it to me. It has a really cool detail on the inside where it kind of looks like melted candle, where you would screw in your light bulbs. Um, needs rewired, but that's not a problem for somebody who knows what they're doing. <laughs> so yeah, and all the glass is intact, uncracked. Very, very pretty filigree on that, and very, very nice. All right, so next, I have these. These are vintage Jaguar speedometers. So they say on the back of this one, Smith's Industries made in the UK. And then this one doesn't say that, but it does have like a part number to it. So Speedos, three-year-old Jaguars, he gave me these for $15 for the pair. They were marked at $15 apiece. So those are the kind of deals he was giving me basically things for free. Actually, he did give my daughter something for free, an alarm clock that she had me put in her room and then immediately had me remove at bedtime because the ticking was bothering her. She's four. So you guys know how that goes. <laughs> All right. Next we have this, which you saw in the video. It was $1 made in Taiwan. It's a porcelain little candle holder for Christmas time with your little holly or little holly on there and that's just a cute little Christmas item it's that time of year so that's what I grab this I thought was really cool it's an entire stack of vintage unused brand new in the pack christening bibs so when you do that whole thing you end up maybe wanting to put a little bib on the baby so they don't ruin the beautiful christening dress or suit or whatever that they had so these were a dollar a piece these are very, very cool. Still in the packaging, which I thought was even cooler. Next, this, which I love. It is missing one little piece of red coral, but it's red coral and turquoise inlay in a brass um, little vase for $3. To me, that was a no-brainer. I will probably end up displaying this in my house, but otherwise, it is super-duper pretty. And I love the turquoise and red coral look. Another hanging lamp. This one's a little bit rusty, but that's because I found it outside. So outside they had this. Another item that I was like, if this is what's outside, I'm going to die in there. And I did. 
or I, I will, I, I wouldn't mind to, to be buried there anyway. Complete with a little spider nest there, which is super creepy, but it's definitely old and uh, hasn't been occupied for quite some time. So anyway, I'll clean that up. It's sort of an amber glass, and the glass part is really my favorite. So, pardon that whole thing. As I put these things down, I know it's a little bit loud, but I'm trying not to break them, which is something I do very well. Okay, so. Next, we've got this wonderful, super heavy, tall brass angel. She says on the bottom, Carnival, 1987. It's a good year, you guys. <laughs> so anyway, she is the same age as me, and she has weathered just a little bit better than I have. She holds your candle or whatever, other or nothing. But anyway, very cool. I paid... $1.50, I think, maybe $2 for this. And she is just a beautiful angel. Um, these I thought were really cute. They are vintage, unburned, um, little Christmas candles. So kind of boring, but they're very cute, and they were 50 cents. So can't go wrong there. This you guys saw me pick up in a video, and I've actually sold these before in a little set. The last time I had sort of the, this one and then a smaller one, um, and they sold for a pretty good price. So I paid 50 cents a piece for these. I left one behind because it was chipped, but these are crystal glass inkwells. This one says made in Poland on the bottom. This one says made in Sweden on the bottom. And this one doesn't say anything on the bottom, but it has the coolest kind of like diamondy design. They tell me that you should be careful leaving these kind of items out in your house, especially in your windows, because crystal glass will refract the light and burn your house down. So <laughs> put them in a dark area in your home. I learned that when I bought a crystal ball not too long ago that is for sale on my eBay, uh, that I should never leave it in your window or if I'm going to leave it anywhere near where light shows to cover it when I leave the house, etc, etc. So another item I found outside is this super cool southwestern table runner with the fringe. Uh, this kind of style is definitely my aesthetic. I love southwestern style items and this kind of gives me the Coco Pelli vibes, right? So very, very cool table runner there. All right, so these you saw me pick up in the video as well. There are one, two, three, four, five of them. I paid $2 for the entire stack of these um, sports pennants. So let's try and do it this way. The Cleveland Indians, <laughs> the Charlotte Hornets, which is basketball. Again, the Charlotte Hornets. Oh, that didn't work that well. The Indians and... Land of Magic. <laughs> so that's the five of them. They are also pretty cool. This one here, the 1995 Hornets one, also has a couple of pins attached to it. So um, those were complimentary, I suppose. 1999 Connecticut TSA. Technology Student Association. So I'm not really sure why those are on that pennant. They will probably come off before I list it. Unfortunately, there will be tiny holes in it because of it, but I don't think that's going to affect the value too much on those. So, 95, 97, doesn't say, 97, and doesn't say right off the bat, so I'm not going to search for it. But right around 95, 97 are when those are from, and so that makes them vintage, which is my thing, you guys. Vintage thrift is my thing. Next we have this. It's one dollar and this was outside as well. It's a brass magazine or whatever. Whatever you put in there guys, you get creative with these kind of things and you don't have to use it as a magazine rack. It can be a rack for anything you freaking desire as long as it fits. If it fits, it sits, right? So little rack, um, put your books in there, your schoolwork, whatever to do, accomplished. Get creative you guys. Anyway, solid brass real heavy, pretty nice, and it kind of has that like 60s bamboo-ish vibe, right? 
least I thought so. Okay, so next I paid $1 for this. And I am from California, Southern California to be specific. And I now live in the middle of nowhere, um, rural Northeast PA. So uh, on a couple of acres of land, nowhere near the ocean. There is a pond next door. I don't think that counts, but it's getting stinking cold here. Anyway, this kind of stuff uh, I'll sometimes pick up because I just... I like to be reminded of home. This this probably doesn't have much to do with California other than it says California, but uh, it's a York craft item. Wall hanging. Very cool Americana style home decor. So next I will show you this is also a York craft 19 and then it's all boogered out so I don't know what year this was made because they boogered the, the date on it. York PA is not too far from me so that makes sense that I would find items from them. There's a couple of little boogers on the front but this is a stagecoach property of the red coach stage line horn. It was advertised in the booth as a circus decoration. So I thought that was really cool. I paid $12 for it. Sometimes I'll pay a little bit up for something if um, if I would be willing to put it in my own house as decor because worst case scenario, I'll put it in my own house as decor. So if I think it's cool enough, I'll do it. All right, next we have the, what I like to call the brave little toaster lamp. <laughs> Uh, this is a Underwriter Laboratory. Anyway, it's brown. That's my favorite color. Always has been. People think I'm weird. I don't know. I think brown's an awesome color. Uh, anyway, there you go. It's like a 60s desk lamp. This was marked at $9. And then, ooh, I saw another one in that booth. Um, also, this one was marked at $9.50. So he actually gave me the pair of them for, I think it was $12. So... I paid six a piece on these desk lamp. This one kind of has like a copper look to it or a bronze-ish kind of a look to it. They both work and this one has, oops, excuse me, this one has a little boogering to it, but it's still super, super pretty and displayable and practical, which not most of the things in my life are not. <laughs> All right, so. Moving right along into some clocks. So I have three clocks left, and then I will show you guys the amazing deco item that I got at the second store. This is the first clock that I picked up. And I am, like, super in love with this clock. It does not work, unfortunately, or it doesn't work properly, at least. This is a Sessions clock made in Forestville, Connecticut, USA. So it's a leather-wrapped clock. It has these little of gold numbers on it to tell the time and I just thought that that was so cool here's another clock and the guy was like I know that one works because I literally used it in my kitchen for a while before I went to sell it he's like I'll use the clock I'll go to sell it and then I'll put another one up until I get tired of that one so he sounds like a guy after my own heart here is evidence that he definitely used it in his kitchen it's super gross but it will get cleaned um, you got your uh, vegetable oil and your fruit flies all stuck to the top of it. So anyway, uh, General Electric, it's got this fun design from, you know, 60s or 70s. And it's your little kind of pistachio green, which is, I know is a popular color right now. And also one of my favorite colors. So made in the USA. Very cool. And the last but not least clock is this guy. This is also a General Electric clock, model 2H40. Uh, he said this one does work. It's made in the USA, Massachusetts. And then just so it's plastic. And uh, very, very cool. It's got the red in the center. It kind of looks like a little diner clock, like maybe mid-century. Definitely mid-century um, vibes to that one. So very cool. And the clocks, I couldn't tell you what I paid for them. He bundled them together for me. And regardless of what they cost individually, the overall cost was totally worth it. So I'll be right back 
and I will show you guys the item that I got at the other store. In all her glory, the Hendrix mid-century bird cage with original Art Deco glass inserts, guys. This was 40 bucks, and bro, even bro loves it. Anyway, that's the item that uh, I got at the spin-off store, and she beautiful. So $200 for all that stuff is a steal of a deal. And my brother is visiting with Artie Dog, and he just pulled up. So my dog's about to lose his entire mind. And my kids are napping. This is reality. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. <laughs> Come here. Hey. Come here. <sighs> here he goes. <laughs> Have a good